takes to make a really good mentor. Kamala, I saw that you started a mentorship program. What do you think it takes to be a really good mentor? What do you want to see in a mentor? These are questions that I found really helpful uh, because I thought about mentors that I've had in the past. I thought about mentors that I have now, uh, the qualities that are within them that really inspire me and make me want to be a better mentor. And one of the big things that I think makes a mentor a good one, I just don't know how many times I can say that word, uh, is to be an example. You know, don't just give people advice. Be an example of the person you're trying to encourage them to be. I think to be really good at it, you also have to ask a lot of questions because what works for one person might not work for the other. And if you don't really know the details, if you don't really know what it is they're looking to gain, then it's really difficult to give them the kind of advice that's going to make sense based on their individual situation. When I started the mentorship program, I had um, a little questionnaire for people. It's actually a lot like the questionnaire I used to give out to people when I first started, you know, the GB girls way, way, way back in the day when I was still playing drum and bass. And by the way, let's go check them out. They're amazing. Um, obviously I'm not a part of that anymore. I don't even play that kind of music, but one of the things that I felt really rewarding about that is consistently learning from other people, but also the challenges that come with that. So if you're a mentor, you're not just encouraging people to follow their dreams, but you're actually challenging them to be a better DJ, producer, partner, friend, uh, mentor themselves. You can't just tell people, you're doing great, you're doing awesome, yeah, just keep on doing what you're doing. Like, if people are making legitimate mistakes, and you know it's a mistake because it's a mistake that you've made in the past, then it's really important to be like, you know, I noticed this thing that you're doing, and it reminds me of when I did this thing. This is what happened to me. This is how I dealt with it. I know, get their thoughts on that. Um, express your concern and why. And I just had an interview uh, not too long ago with Bad Cat, who is an amazing mentor herself. And she mentioned something that is so freaking true. Have more than one mentor. And I think as mentors, we should encourage people to have more than one mentor because people are going to come from different walks of life, different experiences, different genres of music, and they're going to be able to add something to that conversation. It's kind of like this recipe for success where you might like raisin oatmeal cookies and somebody might like chocolate chip cookies, but you like oatmeal chocolate chip and getting a little bit of the ingredients from both help you create your ideal cookie or career. <laughs> so being a good mentor to like just recap is to be living the change you're trying to encourage people to make. It is to encourage them to find more than one mentor. It's to ask questions so that you know how to be a good mentor and give them the advice or send them to the right person for the advice that they're looking for. The other part was challenge them. Encourage them, challenge them though. M help them to, and it, that doesn't mean like doing things for them. Give them the roadmap give them your roadmap and say you might find some of these paths helpful, you might want to detour this way, but to let them do the work and then learn. Learn yourself. Learn how to be a better mentor by getting your own mentors, by reading books on it. And you know, as DJs, as people that are within the music industry, it can be really easy to just want to read books all by people within the music industry, but I really highly suggest that you read books outside of the industry so that you can get more information and be able to offer something that others might not be able to or haven't thought about yet. So for example, some of the books that I've read are High Performance Habits by Brendan Bouchard, Captivate by Vanessa Van Edwards, and um, The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. 
I'm gonna explain why in the next video why those are some of my top picks for books but as I said continue to educate yourself as always make sure you don't let no one kill your vibe because they can't kill your vibe <laughs> and if you have any questions make sure you send them to me on social media you can hashtag ask Kilma or get at me at Kilma music